conversion API events. I want to explain a few things, uh, some advantages and some limitations. First of all, you probably know already when you send conversion API, you send uh, the data from your server to Facebook servers without involving the browser in this process. This has some serious advantages because if your browser blocks the pixel somehow, uh, you will still be able to send data to Facebook. So this is good. But conversion API works as a sort of a backup for uh, the normal browser events. They don't replace them. And there is a good reason for this um, and is related to matching. Now, matching is something very important. Uh, Facebook needs to match your website visitor to a Facebook account. This is useful and is required for uh, things like retargeting, custom audiences, or uh, ads conversion tracking. Without matching, all this is not uh, possible. So matching is key. Now, we actually have an article on our website. I will show it to you. I will link it uh, in, our, in the video description. This is the article. And we have this section about matching. Now, Conversion API doesn't have access to um, browser data like cookies. So uh, it uses something else, user data keys. The most useful uh, data keys are these right here, email, phone, last name, first name, city, state. And there are a few others like browser ID, click ID, IP address, user agent. But as you can see, the, the first ones are basically uh, personal information that you don't have about every single website visitor. You will probably have them for logged in users. But if I'm just a normal visitor that I'm somehow browsing your website coming for, from Google, for example, you will have no idea what's my name, what's my phone number. So you won't have these data keys about normal visitors. In this case, you'll uh, send the browser ID, the IP address, the user agent, the click ID is a bit complicated, but not very common. These are good, but not very good. And let me show you something. This is your, uh, this is my uh, events manager for uh, a testing pixel. So the data here is very limited, but I want to show you this, this part here, event match quality. Now, this is a score that you get for uh, the match quality for each e event. The most common events will have a very low quality score because again, you don't have uh, data about most people firing them. But events like purchase or complete registration will have a better score. In my uh, sample here, there is no score because again, this is not real data. It's, it's just testing, me testing uh, the pixel. You will see a better score for probably the purchase event. Another thing you have here is the connection method. And you will see things like browser and server, most common, uh, browser or server. What it means? Uh, because it's a, a backup for the browser event, you will have um, both the browser and the connection API events uh, sent to Facebook most of the time. Now, Facebook uses the event name and uh, a, a parameter called event ID to deduplicate the events. So when they get uh, an event with the same name and the same uh, event ID, they will drop uh, the, the second, the third event, and they will keep just the first event they receive. They will usually keep the uh, browser event and they will drop the server event. So because of that, you will see uh, these all combinations. If you see browser and server, it means that this event was sent uh, using both 
so uh, there were some server events that were not dropped because uh, they were not uh, uh, a backup for a browser event the browser event didn't work in that case uh, if you see only server it means that all the browser events were not sent for this uh, event for some reason if you see only browser it means that uh, the browser works all the time and uh, all the server events were uh, dropped it's not very important but this is how you in, uh, understand the, the, this um, uh, inf this information right here another thing you will notice well some errors now uh, invalid match key parameters this can happen from time to time because the the, the key parameters like uh, the, br the browser id or the ip address uh, are invalid for some reason i'm not sure why i guess some of them are uh, triggered by uh, crawlers or non-human visitors but for this part we use um, a library from facebook so they will probably uh, get better and at getting this kind of data and um, uh, it should get better in time it's not a real issue i wouldn't worry that much it's very limited some limited few of those server events have the problem it's not uh, major you will see this um, here for now just don't worry about it other than that even if you see low match quality score you should uh, send conversion api you should configure conversion api because uh, facebook feeds on data and they want data matching is not very good right now if you don't have uh, personal information with your associated with your conversion api events but I think eventually they will get better and better and they will be able to do some matching even without this um, kind of information just with the basic uh, stuff that you can get for uh, any website visitor so these are things I wanted to share about uh, conversion API you should configure conversion API it will improve your uh, pixel performance